Hey guys, it's Sissy from Sissy Prints. Welcome to my new video. I'm going to be showing you guys my process of creating a lino cut. And this time it's all about Blade Runner. I love this movie and I especially loved the sequel. But here I am drawing, or already drew, Rachel. Next I'm looking for a reference photo of Harrison Ford's character. Unfortunately, I'm not really that good with guys, so I always try to practice and I only become aware of my mistakes once I look at them. So now I can see every single little flaw that I see, but either way. So here I'm just doing the outline of the face and the hair. It's always a good place to start, even though I erase things as I go. Yeah, so here's his eye. No, you can finally see him peeking out. And the difficult part that I found here was his nose for some reason. I don't know. It's the bottom part of the nose that rests right above the lips. That was the most difficult part. I kept on erasing it and trying over. And I kept on looking at how much space was between the line of the cheek and the end of the nose. And the arch because there was this little bit of an arch coming up to the eye that I just seemed to have missed. And the arch beneath going down towards the nostril was also kind of difficult at the beginning to get but after several attempts I think I got it all right and then I went over to the next eye using the first eye as a reference it kind of looked like he had eyeliner on but in that movie it kind of did look like he had a little bit of eyeliner I mean I'm not sure if it was because of the shadows or if he actually did wear makeup but you know whatever and then his mouth <laughs> When I was creating his mouth, there were times that it just looked, I don't know, it's sometimes guys' mouths can look quite feminine when you draw them, and it's only because of the facial hair that really brings it down. So yeah, so I had a bit of a difficult time with that, but it was achievable. So then back to the eye, creating the eye hair, the shadowing of the pupils, and... The, the reflection of light. So yeah, I mean, you know, the first time that I watched Blade Runner, I just loved the complete feel of it. I was completely absorbed by the story, this noir film, film with science fiction storyline and I didn't really pay attention to the story itself because it was an artistic movie for me just the scenery was the important part not so much the story the first time I saw it then the second time I watched it I realized that when they created it it was heavily based on the style, and just to be an artistic film, because the dialogue in itself wasn't that heavy or as important, and it really was lacking, even though I just loved the film in itself. It was something that you didn't come across that often. And then with the sequel, there the story was well-developed, the dialogue was well-developed, there was suspense, and it was aesthetically beautiful. The shots were beautifully made. I was in love, completely in love. And I still think that the sequel is much better than the original. Ooh, shocker. So yeah, so here you can see I did a bit of a shadowing because he doesn't have a full mustache or full beard, but he has that shadow. Like he hasn't shaved in a couple of hours and maybe not in a couple of hours, maybe in like in a day or two that he hasn't really shaved. So he has this like bit of shadowing going on. And I, since it's going to be a lino cut, I was really having a hard time how I wanted it to transfer onto the linoleum. So I tried different techniques and I didn't really like it. I'm still trying to decide how I'm supposed to do it. But so here I was just working on a bit of the shadows that were created. Really the lines are going to be what is left on the lino cut. And then there was this star light behind him, neon sign star type of light. So I just did a quick outline of what I wanted it to be and where I wanted it to be. The thing with lino cut is that I just, the, I do the first sketch 
where I show where I want things to be. And then I adjust as I go. I first do the initial cuts and I do a print to see how it looks. And then I remove things um, or I leave things or I add more texture because it's the, the thing that I really love about lino cuts is the texture. I just love those little fine lines that nothing's really perfect, that it looks completely handmade. Ah, oh, I think it's great. So yeah, so here I was debating, okay, what am I going to add in this space here? First I thought I was going to add, you know, Blade Runner. But then I thought, no, I don't really want words. So I decided to add the owl. I love, love owls. I love animals. I love drawing animals. So I thought it was a good counterpart to these two characters. You know, some symbolism adding within, like a play of the nature of the film, the nature of the characters, the absence of nature, and the, the presence of completely artificial life, and how they played upon the owl. So... Here I'm just creating more textural lines and I'm just debating. <laughs> I'm really thinking about, hmm, should I add this? Should I not add this? Should I continue? What should I leave? What should I take out? Yeah. My dog just ran by. Yeah, so it was interesting and I really do need to rewatch the sequel see if I still have the same thoughts and feelings because I mean one thing is to watch it in the movie theater and you have this huge screen and you're completely engulfed by the sounds and then to watch it at home on a smaller screen where you get to pay attention probably to the detail because you're not completely overcome by everything so yeah so here you can see I finished somewhat finished because I then went back and changed a few things Like, I'm not completely happy with Harrison Ford, but he's there. There he is. And there's the owl. And there's lovely Rachel. So, thanks guys for watching. Bye.